What's up everyone, Alex here. While Capcom has made some incredible games over the years, none have made me admire the sheer craftiness and simplicity that the Ace Attorney series has at its employ. Over the years, the series has managed to tell compelling and engaging stories that will have you at the edge of your seat, providing thrilling conclusions to seemingly disparate stories. With the release of the great Ace Attorney Chronicles, Ace Attorney is back in a big way, with a brand new protagonist and time period in tow. And lo and behold, it just happens to be the perfect game to play for both seasoned veterans and newcomers who want to experience a grand and epic courtroom adventure. This review is made possible by viewers, like you, so please leave a like, comment, then subscribe to the channel. The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles is a complete compilation of two hybrid visual novels in the Ace Attorney series that was once never before released outside of Japan, featuring traditional point-and-click adventure gameplay mixed with epic courtroom battles, developed and published by Capcom, who provided this PS4 game code. You'll bear witness to the trials and tribulations of one Ryonosuke Narohodo, a law student whose studies will have him practicing law across two different continents, with the goal of not only bringing home the knowledge of Western law and justice, but also unravel the tangled web of mysteries that seem to follow him at every waking moment. There are two distinct gameplay styles that you'll find in Ace Attorney games, with one additional style unique to the great Ace Attorney Chronicles. The first of these styles functions similarly to point-and-click adventure games, which lets you survey the surrounding area and investigate specific points of interest. These hotspots aren't quite as plentiful as other games in the genre, with some actually taking up several portions of the screen, and even going so far as displaying a checkmark to let you know that you've already looked over that area, speeding things up a bit. More often than not, these investigations are available whenever you get to a new crime scene or a new location and examining these scenes will net you brand new evidence, facts about the time period, or just some funny quips. The heart and soul of the Ace Attorney games, however, are its courtroom battles, and it's perhaps the most difficult to describe to newcomers without making it sound insipid. You'll be engaging in multiple rounds of cross-examination, which requires you to go through the witness's testimony line by line with the goal of identifying false statements and disproving them with the evidence that you have. During these examinations, you can also press witnesses to elaborate on their statements, which often reveals new evidence or additions to the testimony that you've never had before. But that's just the beginning, as every case in Chronicles features numerous twists and turns that will rock your understanding of the proceedings. Making a mistake will cause you to lose your limited credibility, and once that's all gone, it's game over. Thankfully, you can easily save and load at almost any point during your courtroom session, and there's even a story mode toggle in the options menu should you decide that you'd rather just take the story in without having to engage in any of the gameplay. New to Chronicles is the addition of a jury system that will determine the fate of the defendant. If the jury ever unanimously decides on a guilty verdict, you'll have the opportunity to invoke a summation examination, which will have you press and find contradictions between two jurors in order to turn the tide of battle. Another new addition is the ability to have multiple witnesses at the stand, which introduces a mechanic that lets you question a different witness should they display strange behavior while overhearing another witness statement. The addition of these new features helps break up the pace of courtroom battles, altering the flow of gameplay ever so slightly, and adding more possibilities that introduces a slight bit more complexity into the established formula. Unique to the great Ace Attorney Chronicles is Herlock Sholmes self-titled Logic and Reasoning Spectacular, wherein Sholmes reveals his startling deductions about the investigation as he waltzes around a room oozing with style and panache while connecting different disparate ideas together in a unique way. I won't go into much detail about this, but it then falls to you to scrutinize Sholmes' deductive reasoning. The gameplay here is similar to that of cross-examining witnesses during courtroom battles, except that Ryonosuke and Susato themselves will identify the inconsistencies for you. When that happens, you will be shown the surrounding area and be asked to look for the correct evidence that will write Shom's deductions. Once finished, you'll not only have a clearer understanding of what's going on, but you've also helped the famous detective with his great deductions. 
Much like the new additions to courtroom battles, Shom's Deductions adds a bit of excitement to Chronicle's investigative gameplay that provide a deserving break from the toils of trying to examine every speck of evidence at a location. Though oftentimes, it takes a considerable amount of time just to get to these, especially towards the end of each respective story arc. Nonetheless, it is a worthwhile addition to the series' investigations that I hope future games will continue to incorporate. Providing the compelling raison d'etre as to why you're engaging in all of this is Chronicle's narrative. Compared to previous protagonists in the series, I found Ryunosuke's journey much more compelling, making me want to see him succeed despite all the struggles he's faced throughout. Perhaps the reason why I feel so much more for him is due to the circumstances surrounding when the story takes place. The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles is set at an unspecified time during Japan's Meiji period, circa 1868 to 1912, which marked a time when the country saw huge changes across all aspects of Japanese culture due to influence from the West after being an isolationist nation for two centuries. This time period also intersects with the Victorian era in Great Britain, where much of the events of the game is set. This time frame is important to note, because despite the seemingly civil relations between both countries, there's a form of prevalent racism that permeated amongst the British-born population, which is in full display in Chronicle's storytelling. In fact, this specific quality of Chronicle's narrative was identified by fans to have been one of the reasons why Capcom might have been reluctant in bringing over both games to the West. Needless to say, the presence of such subject matter would certainly be tricky to localize. After all, the Ace Attorney series, while often mired with ghastly murders and crimes, are mostly considered as being humorous and lighthearted, thanks to its eccentric and charming characters and the way it presents its story. Somehow, Janet Shu and her localization team at Capcom were still able to keep the spirit of these jabs while infusing them with a wordy absurdity that you come to expect from the series' plentiful rogues gallery, managing to acknowledge their short-sighted perspectives with a kind of approach that truly showcases the magnificence of the game's writing. While series veterans will be quick to note that Chronicle's story beats follow a lot of long-established tropes in the series, I'm quick to point out that the core of Ryonosuke's character, that he's a young man who's quickly underestimated by his foes, is always a worthy narrative experience. The story of a youthful individual, constantly misjudged by his peers, but always manages to find a way to win his battles, is both inspiring and enthralling. And when you experience more of his journey and realize why he does what he does, you'll find even more to love about him than any spoiler-free review would dare reveal. But a protagonist's journey is often said to be only as strong as its supporting cast, and the great Ace Attorney Chronicles has no shortage of intriguing characters to meet and have tea with, in a matter of speaking. From your judo-equipped assistant Susato, to the marvelously flamboyant Herlock Sholmes, there's always something to love about Chronicles characters, even if some are devilishly hiding secrets that they'd rather not get revealed. It helps that the series' tradition of naming characters through the use of wordplay is back in full effect here, featuring characters such as Iesa Nosa and Curio Curecta, whose namesakes reveal a few things about themselves. An aspect of Ace Attorney that I don't see talked about often is the way the game feels. This subject matter might sound strange given Chronicle's gameplay, but the series' long-standing presentation is something that I believe helps set it apart from other visual novels. While the game doesn't use voice acting extensively, each line of text is accompanied by blips that represent the speaker's delivery. As you experience more of Chronicle's story, you'll also start noticing that the speed of the text display can vary depending on the situation, either speeding up or slowing down depending on the speaker's disposition. This sort of text presentation isn't exactly typical of visual novels, but where this implementation starts to matter is during Chronicle's numerous courtroom battles. It's during these battles that the pace of the game speeds up a bit, mimicking a sense of urgency that is very much absent in real-life versions of these types of proceedings. I've no doubt that newcomers have seen the enthusiastic bellows of OBJECTION that have been the staple of the series for years. But there's more to the ferocity and seemingly ridiculous conviction that these actions would lead you to believe. In fact, 
The term I've been calling these proceedings this whole time, courtroom battles, more than summarizes the feeling of participating in these courtrooms. While uninformed parties might easily dismiss Chronicle's gameplay as that of quote-unquote reading and quote-unquote occasionally making choices, it's just as easy for anyone actually watching gameplay to recognize that there's a sense of action involved with these otherwise ordinary-looking proceedings. This is due in part to the incredible visual and sound design employed during the battle's critical moments. Every revelation, contradiction, and point of surprise is accompanied by a simple yet brilliant combination of visual and audio cues that bring these courtroom battles closer to the feeling of literal battles. For instance, whenever a newfound contradiction is presented, the game quickly flashes the screen, followed by the witness animated surprise, accompanied by what sounds like a deep stab in the gut. The utilization of these elements and variations thereof heighten what is essentially the act of reading lines of text, creating an atmosphere that feels slightly more visceral, a contradiction to the inherent banality of the ensuing gameplay. Another method the series employs to deliver action is through the use of clever camera movement and editing that subconsciously demands your attention, not only forcing you to ever so subtly focus on the unfolding events, but also tricking your brain into thinking that something dynamic and thrilling is unfolding. With the addition of new deductions gameplay, Chronicle switches to a presentation that feels akin to a dance, with our heroes smoothly gliding across the screen, with background characters demonstrating more fanciful animations the further you progress in the story. Some of these and other courtroom animations were derived from actual motion capture performed by Shiotsuki Shu, and these often exaggerated movements are both graceful and smooth, as expected from a former actress from the famous Takarazuka Review. This presentation gives these gameplay portions a sense of modern and unique style that contrasts heavily with the Meiji slash Victorian time period when the game takes place, bridging the gaps between both in a really cool way. And when Ryonosuke or Susato reveals an error in Shom's deductions, the game pauses the moment in bullet time, accompanied by a literal gun-firing sound effect that reverberates almost to infinity, while both characters further deduce the presented facts. And of course, serving to tie all of Chronicle's individual pieces together, is a soundtrack containing compositions from Yasumasa Kitagawa, Hiromitsu Maeba, and Yoshia Teriyama, with Kitagawa leading the score. Because of the chosen time period, Kitagawa and Shu Takumi, the game's director, felt that a live orchestra would be needed to evoke the powerful themes that the game demanded. As Kitagawa began to compose original songs and translate some of the series' themes to this classical British style, he felt that he needed to add something more to the songs in order to achieve the kind of sound he wanted. As a result, he not only employed the use of the harpsichord and heavier use of string instruments for some of its more familiar melodies, but also incorporated some musical elements from other European countries as well. What results is a soundtrack that sounds grander and more epic in nature, lifting up every other facet of the game that gives Chronicles a unique identity when compared to the rest of the series. And yet without its colorful and richly designed characters and landscapes, all of this presentation would be for naught. I've mentioned that the series often masks the horrific nature of its featured crimes, and it partly does so by way of the rendering of its characters, both visually and through its story. Each character moves ever so smoothly, constantly reusing the few animation loops they have to great effect in order to enhance the current goings on in the narrative. The characters are a beautiful work of art, and one that sets a very high standard for future games in the series. As someone who has been quietly and patiently waiting for the great Ace Attorney games to arrive in the West, I couldn't be happier to finally play them and experience what was once a missing piece of the series. The great Ace Attorney Chronicles is not only a triumph with its fantastic writing and relatively higher production values, but is also a celebration of all things Ace Attorney, thanks in part to its generous bonus features. Both longtime fans and newcomers alike will appreciate the love and care that went into creating this one-of-a-kind compilation. And in a year already filled with incredible games, The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles joins this long list of titles as one of the standout hits ever to have been released. And despite its story's conclusion, I sincerely hope that this won't be the last we'll ever see of Ryunosuke Naruhodo.
If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And if you're playing through the great Ace Attorney Chronicles and want to chat with other members of the community without spoiling it for others, join our Discord at bit.ly slash our backlog battle. And if you really like this video, join our Patreon at patreon.com slash backlog battle. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.